Hello friends, this is Anu from TechS. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why is it a wise decision to get a used Canon 200D Mark II or SLR3 or 250D in 2022. So without further ado, let's start the video. Two months ago, I purchased a used Canon 200D Mark II. 200D Mark II is known as Canon SLR3 or Canon 250D in different parts of the world. I bought this camera for a price of under $400. You can get this brand new for around $650 to $700. Why did I get a used one when I am able to get a brand new one? When I went to David Cameras, which is in Chennai, in India, I got a used piece which was work under perfect working condition, but I did not get the uh, the box or it doesn't have the warranty. So I checked it. Uh, it was a uh, in a bit of test but i just cleaned it off and uh, this was under perfect working condition i got this camera with a 18 to 55 mm kit lens so instead of taking that 18 to 55 mm kit lens i got a 24 mm f 2.8 pancake lens instead of that so this is my light portable uh, vlogging camera or youtube camera so i use this is as my primary camera and i use my Lumix uh, G85 as my B camera. As I am learning photography, there are many people like me who want to learn photography, but there are many mirrorless cameras out there. So since I already have a mirrorless camera, I wanted to see, I wanted to experience the DSLR style and I wanted to learn photography through a DSLR. So getting this for a cheap price, I think this is a very good deal. So I really don't know the shutter count of this model but so since this is in a perfect working condition i am pretty much happy with this so i'm going to list out the simple reasons why i got this camera in 2022 so this is one of the lightest uh, canon dslr available in the market so this was released in the year 2019 and uh, so even even if i add a telephoto lens which is the canon 55 to 250 mm stm lens this camera will not be a heavy monster even though this is a disla this is quite light and compact so when i mount the pancake lens 24 mm efs lens with this dslr this doesn't weigh much and i can carry it in just a small bag and i can carry it everywhere so this is going to be my walk around lens so i'm interested in street photography nature photography and uh, i can even use this uh, set up for vlogging even though this doesn't have image stabilization built in with the camera i'll use this digital image stabilization this has a fast aperture of f2.8 so which is also good good for low light photography and videography another main reason why i got this lens is for video making is that this has dual pixel autofocus and which is one of the best so which is one of the best along with sony so we we know that sony is the master of autofocus in the industry but so canon's dual pixel autofocus is not that far and it does much better than nikon and panasonic so this dual pixel autofocus works very well for videos as well as for photographs so if you are a beginner and uh, so you need a hybrid camera for photography as well as for video making i think this is one of the cheapest uh, inner level cameras that can provide both without compromising on the image quality level canon has a lot of affordable lenses for the ef mount and the efs mount so efs mount is for the crop sensor body so efs for the full frame camera equivalent so when you speak about the affordability of canon lenses so this is the 24mm f2.8 lens. So I got this as a used one for $100. If you want to get this as a new one, so it will cost around $150 brand new. That's this uh, Nifty 50 50mm f1.8 lens for Canon. Portrait 50mm f1.8 lens is also good for low light photography. So when you enter the telephoto lenses region, this is 
the best so this is one of the best and the cheapest telephoto lens that you can get with image stabilization on you have the image stabilization canon 50 to 250 mm is stm lens comes around comes around 300 to 350 dollars brand new but you can uh, you can get this for 150 dollars as a used one or even 100 for 100 dollars so this lens has a very good image quality very good for uh, video making as well so all these three lenses what i have mentioned are based on stm motors and which is and uh, for video making these lenses will not make much noise Canon has one of the best Canon colors for photos as well as for videography. So when I compare my Panasonic Lumix JT5 which has a 16MP camera, 16MP sensor but this uh, Canon 200D Mark II has a 24, so 24 megapixel sensor so which is good for low light so which is a bigger sensor compared to the micro 4 thirds sensor and uh, so this is good for low light photography as well but even there are better cameras than this but for my budget and for people like me who are very restricted to a budget Canon 200D Mark II or the Canon SLR 3 or the Canon 250D is a very good option for photography as well as for videography. So this video is being recorded using the Canon uh, 200D Mark II with the Canon, Canon EFS uh, 24 mm f 2.8 pancake lens this, this is my panasonic lumix g85 camera the previous section of the video was recorded using this i have disabled the uh, digital image stabilization for this video and uh, since i'm mounting this uh, camera on the tripod and uh, uh, the and it is currently being recorded in the auto mode canon 200d mark ii never misses uh, the subject focus so my so since uh, I have enabled the dual autofocus, uh, I'm always in frame. It's quite instant. The focus is lightning fast. So you can compare this with Sony, but uh, Sony is on a different level, but it's still, this is really good. has a tilting screen which is very much required for vlogging i have some vintage lenses just like this uh, nikkor pre ai 105m mm f 2.8 vintage lens to use the these kind of nikkor old pre ai lenses pre ai lenses uh, it is much easier to mount it on a canon dslr than a nikon dslr and the and this uh, 200D Mark II has uh, focus peaking. So usually, what I read online is that uh, only mirrorless cameras have focus peaking, so which is useful for manually focusing, um, and you can get sharp pictures of the objects. So uh, with this focus peaking, and this 200D Mark II also has uh, focus peaking. This camera has a better battery capability but this has a better battery life than the Canon M50 Mark II. So those were a few reasons why I prefer this Canon 200D Mark II instead of the Canon M50 Mark II. So if I bought the Canon M50 Mark II, I would have to buy a separate mount uh, to fit my EF and EFS lenses to that camera which is an additional cost. So these were the main reasons why I have 
got this Canon 200D Mark II. So I hope this video is useful for people to make a purchasing decision even in 2022. So Canon has provided latest firmware updates for this camera as well. So which is still relevant. So I hope this video is useful to you. So thanks for watching. Uh, let's meet in the next video. Until then, this is Anup signing off. Bye-bye.